up guys? I'm Nicole Aaron for University TV and today we're at Notre Dame de Namur University, the fifth oldest college in California, founded in 1851. Let's check out the rest of this tour. Notre Dame de Namur University is located in Belmont, California on the San Francisco Peninsula in Silicon Valley and the foothills of the Pacific Ocean. There's so much to do here, from city life to hiking in the forest to water sports in this beautiful ocean. The Bay Area is a fabulous place to live. Um, we have wonderful weather um, all year round. You're close to the beach, you're close to hiking in the redwoods, um, you're close to the San Francisco Bay. Um, the cuisine is amazing. You can get almost any kind of food um, at a really affordable price. The campus covers 50 acres of wooded hilly land. Students can make their way downtown to either San Jose or San Francisco in less than 30 minutes. NDNU enrolls more than 2,000 students, just over half of which are undergraduates coming from 32 states and 28 different countries. Females account for two-thirds of the student body, plus the freshman retention rate is about 80% in the last few years. If, if you want us to know you really, really well, and you want to know us really, really well, this is the place to be. You know, it's really hands-on, and I know my students well. Um, and they know me. The annual cost of tuition is roughly $31,000, while a meal plan will cost you two grand per semester and another $4,000 for room. Don't let the price scare you. 95% of undergrads receive some form of financial aid, and because you can graduate on time, that means fewer years of paying tuition. Applications are accepted year-round. The average incoming freshman profile is as follows. A GPA of 3.2 and SAT score just under 1,000. But admission decisions are based on more than just grades and test scores. They look at activities, leadership, and experiences. NDNU offers 21 majors and programs in the following schools. Arts and Sciences, Business and Management, and Education and Leadership. Once a year, students get the opportunity to display their artwork inside a Wigan gallery. Pretty cool, huh? Some of the most popular areas of study are biology and biochemistry, psychology, social science, and business. There are also many graduate programs, including the largest art therapy program in the country. In my environmental issues class, um, I've had some students working on a water quality project. And so we were out in an um, area, creeks and streams here in Belmont, and we did water sampling. We did trash pickup um, along the creeks here close to campus and in the center of Belmont, and then uh, those creeks eventually flow into the San Francisco Bay. So my students got a really first-hand look at not only litter and trash, but then they also looked at um, water quality indexes, that indices that um, help us know how healthy the bay is. With smaller class sizes averaging about 16 students, this allows students to receive personal attention from excellent instructors in challenging courses that cover a wide range of academic programs. The student to faculty ratio is 12 to 1 and there are a total of 123 full and part-time faculty members, 95% of which hold terminal degrees. The campus is small and the student population is quite smaller than other schools, but that just gives the students the opportunity to get more involved and meet new people. Um, I would tell people interested in coming here is uh, don't let that scare you because that gives you a chance to shine that you usually wouldn't have at a bigger school because you can do more. The six women's and five men's Argonaut NCAA Division II sports teams compete in the Pacific West Conference, while men's lacrosse competes in the Western Intercollegiate Lacrosse Association. We have a great cheer squad and they come to all the games and they help get the crowd going, but we also have a great fan base and so our lacrosse team and our basketball team come out to all our games and support us. NDNU offers traditional dorm housing as well as several apartment options for upperclassmen. Students may also reside in suite-style living featuring four rooms joined by a common area and sharing a bathroom. Most first and second year students live on campus. On campus was an amazing experience for me. Um, I never had shared a room before until I came to college and I learned a lot about myself and working with others. And as a communications major, you definitely learn how to communicate with people. Living on campus is a lot better than living off campus in my opinion just because you have a better chance at going to all the school events and it's easier for the, to come to the games and practices. There are more than 30 student organizations spanning academics interests, ethnic, sports, professional, social, and service groups. Plus, there are free learning and support services for all students, including the Academic Success Center, the Career Center, and Counseling Services. 
The real advantages of being in, uh, on a very small campus like this is students have lots of opportunities to get involved. So if you're a, a theater major or a music major, for example, you can be involved in performances from your very first year. You don't have to wait to be a senior to get to participate in performance. Uh, students have opportunities to form clubs. If, if there's not a club of their liking, they have to collect a number of students up together and make a charter and apply and they can create a club all of their own. So it, one of the real advantages of being here is your opportunity to be involved. Student government has an active presence on campus, sponsoring a variety of events from dances to the annual Chocolate Fest. Mm, I can get used to that events like Chocolate Fest, um, October Fest, which is now known as uh, Mosaic, and Viva, which is our big end of the year event. Speaking of service, the university has a strong commitment to service learning and social justice. At the Sister Dorothy Stang Center, students can focus on connecting to organizations around the Bay Area. Students, faculty, and staff spend more than 100,000 hours annually in service to the community. Thanks for joining us here at Notre Dame Dana Muir University. I'm Nicole Aaron for University TV. We'll see you later.